Hello everyone, it's Marie at Planet Marie. We are going into this um, next lot of Goodwill jewelry. This is a lot I purchased about two weeks ago when we were still in the middle of the um, the uh, 21 pound box. This is all branded pieces or so it should be or supposed to be. Um, it was in two bags. They were open in the box. A lot of it was spilled out, so I kind of just consolidated it back in. This will probably be done in a couple of parts, two, maybe three parts. So I'm just going to spill this out first, and we'll just take it from there, little by little. Okay, so I'm just going to push this to the side. All earrings I will put up here at the 12 o'clock position, and as we find the matches, we will go through them. Okay. All right, off the top, here's a watch. Um, it looks like Kenneth Cole. Um, as far as watches go, you guys, I don't sell them. Um, a lot of them probably just need a battery, and there was a time when I thought about doing that where I would just replace batteries, but I don't want to sell something that I'm not sure will work or will continue to work. I know a lot of crafters use these and take the inside out and uh, make like little shadow box pendants and things like that. And I might try that someday too, um, but right now I'm just collecting all my watches um, and if anyone's interested, you can hit me up. Let me know what kind you're looking for, what brands you're interested in, what shapes, you know, and things like that. And I can make a lot for you of watches, okay, if you're into crafting with them or repairing them or putting batteries in them. All right, so that is the watch story. That's uh, yeah, earrings. Here's another earring. This is Isis brand. It says 18 inch, so I'm assuming there was a necklace with it. If it comes up, great. If not, then we'll just uh, sell the earrings. These will be in the two for five grouping in case you're not familiar. Um, I do earrings $3 a pair or two for $5. A lot of the earrings that I come across will fall into this category, which I call the earring, the $5 earring club, uh, two pairs for five. That doesn't mean all earrings fall into it that I sell. The nicer ones I do sell for more. This one's got some vertigray on it. So um, I'll just put that. I don't know. I might try to clean it. I think there's a way to clean them. So I'll see if I can get it clean and if the other one is in the lot. Next up, we have um, a peace sign. Let me see if I can get my light on. There we go. I have a peace sign necklace in silver tone with little like crystals. Very pretty. Um, let me check. So there's going to be a lot of checking for brands. This is Claire's. I can see that with my naked eye. Well, with my glasses eyes, I don't need the loop for that. We have a little, uh, tangulation here. So I'm just going to take a moment to undo. This is very pretty. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very pretty beads here. Let me just open this up. Let's see what we got here. A palm tree? It looked like it might have had something else hanging off of it. Personally, I would remove the palm tree unless you enjoy palm trees. But this, to me, stands on its own as a very pretty necklace. Look at these stones. Look at these beautiful purple stones. You have these. They feel like glass. And you have the bicone beads in between, silver tone spacer beads. These uh, bicones are AB. You have your cat's eye purple. Looks a little blue um, over the video, but they're purple. 
very very pretty and this is uh I don't know, was this one clear? No. I don't see a brand on this one. Hmm. This is supposed to be a lot of branded jewelry. It looks unbranded then. I don't know what brand this is. Let me look on the back of the pineapple. I don't see anything. It's just kind of random, the pineapple. No, I'm sorry, pineapple. The palm tree. The um, palm tree hanging on it. I guess I'm seeing um, coconut, <laughs> little um, rhinestones or coconuts in the palm tree. I'm so sorry. I'm sitting here saying, you guys are probably like, Marie, <laughs> palm tree, why do you keep calling that a pineapple? Um, here's what it looks like on. It's very, very pretty. Glass beads, absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to do $8 on this. I don't see a brand, um, but $8. glass beads I think you know, I don't know they feel like it all right so all you have to do is email me at my email address which is always linked below it is morally resale at aol.com and um, just give me the timestamp a brief description and the name of the video and this is going to be called goodwill branded part one Goodwill branded jewelry, part one. But it will be in the title. Um, just give me that. It's easier if you put the name of the video in your uh, in the subject header on the email. This is Claire's. I will do this for two dollars. Peace sign for two dollars. So let me give you a measurement on this. Hope everybody's doing great on this Sunday afternoon early evening probably by the time this video is up nine inch drop non-adjustable peace sign about a seven and a half inch drop okay all right and you know we're probably not going to get through all this today you guys we have a nice stretch bracelet in a blue like a teal blue and a amber colored it is plastic feels very good stretch it's a very good stretch you guys i kind of give stuff a little tug and a little rough and tumble to make sure it's not going to fall apart on you you know i don't want to like just go like this oh yeah it's good because you know then you go to put it on and it breaks so I kind of put things a little bit to the test. All right, so this is a Claire's. And we will do this plastic bracelet for $2. The Claire's bracelet for $2. The stretch is really nice. It's a really wide bracelet. That's what it looks like. Very nice. The stretch is really good. And it's new with tag. Nice and wide, about two inches. All right, two bucks on the Claire's bracelet. All right, all right. Next up, we have this beaded necklace. It appears to be homemade. There is a little room here. There's some extra string up there. I think I will probably put this into crafting. The beads are super pretty. Um, but, and I think, some of them are glass, like these square green ones. Some of these beads are really pretty. I think somebody can harvest a lot of beautiful beads off this and maybe um, make it a little bit nicer. It's not bad. I mean, if somebody wants it, I'll sell it for $2. Otherwise, uh, be just because the beads alone are, you know, have that value, it can be restrung. Otherwise, I'm just going to put it into crafting. I don't see a brand. What's going on, Goodwill? Because this was supposed to be all branded jewelry. But unless somebody wants that, I'm going to put that right into crafting. If you want it, two bucks. All right. Same with this guy. This one looks a little better made. Yeah, this one is very similar. It has a toggle closure. Um, different colors. It has blues in it. 
Um, but this one is nicer because it uh, just has a little bit of space in between the beads, which it's supposed to, so that it like kind of moves a little bit. Um, but it doesn't have like that extra that the other one had. This one just looks a little better. Um, so um, we'll call this the blue beaded AB finish on these guys. It feels mostly plastic. This one's glass. And these, I think, are plastic. And we'll do three bucks on this one. And it has an eight inch drop. All right. Just give me the timestamp and a brief description. All right, we have an earring. We have, this looks like a Monet. Silver tone Monet. Let me just check. I'm like 100% certain this is Monet because I've sold this before. This type of necklace. If it's not a Monet, I'd be surprised. Yeah, it's Monet. And it has like the... To, it's like movable. The, each link is two links. Kind of layered on top of one another. Let's put it on. It's going to look really nice cleaned up. It's not clean. But I will shine it up. The condition is perfect. Um, you just have to go through the untwisting it. There we go. It's in perfect shape. It just needs to be shined up. I regularly sell chains like this, Monet brand, for 20 to 25 on eBay. But I'm going to make it 15 for any YouTube viewers, my YouTube viewers. $15 for the silver tone Monet that has the beautiful hook clasp. It has a nice extender. So 15 on the silver Monet at its shortest. It has a drop of eight inches and then another, <clears throat> you can get another inch and three quarter, inch and a half, inch and three quarter out of the extension. $15 on the Monet silver tone. All right, Goodwill, you're redeeming yourself. Got some more earrings. I see a brand, but we're just going to keep putting these up here and we'll wait till we get matches. All right. Next up, we have a another couple earrings. We have a little statement bib necklace with blue and uh, clear rhinestones. Let's see our brand on this loft so let me just get this untangled let's put this on i think the black yeah let's put it on the black it looks like all of our stones are present it's very pretty it's like a mint green and turquoise blue just making sure everything is here. Yes. And it is loft. Fancy link chain. Silver tone as an extension. And we will do $8.00. Um, the loft silver tone and blue let me just get the measurements seven and a half inch drop with another two inch <clears throat> on the extension loft all right more earrings a bracelet by superstar brand Scissor. 
I'm gonna open this up. Or I'll just show you through the package. It's good for a stocking stuff or a small gift. It looks like tiny. Um, it's each of the ball beads is made up of tiny little rhinestones in red, blue, clear, gold, and then blue. Oh, blue over here on the side. With that. Uh, the spacer beads i believe those are called rondelles correct me if i'm wrong um, and we'll do three dollars on the superstar collections um bracelet okay earrings erica clip-ons we'll put these in the club Two for five, three dollars or two for five. This is kind of, this is a gold tone loft. Um, I think I'll put it in crafting only because of this ribbon. I feel like it can't really be cleaned. Um, it could actually be removed and you'd have a really pretty necklace because it has all these stones. Oh, and it's missing one. Okay, crafting. All right, that's okay, crafting. Next up, we have a uh, G Accessories brand seed bead purple knotted. Um, I will probably put this in craft because it just kind of is not really laying flat. It's kind of light. If anybody's interested, you can have it for $2. Just because of the, you know, the beads. It is a lot of beads that can be used. Um, but I think I'll just put it in craft unless somebody wants it. It's $2, but it's kind of, see guys, it's kind of like... Wig. I don't think it's going to lay flat on you. I mean, it might. I don't know. It's a pretty color. Two bucks if anybody wants it. If I don't get any uh, interest in it, it'll go into crafts. All right. It's in perfect shape. It's new. Um, but Okay, there's that. Next up, this is the other Chico's earring. We have another earring and another earring. I think this one's Monet. I know I'm saving them till the end, but this one looks really nice. Oh, am I not in view here? That's really nice. Nice quality. That's got to be Monet. Sorry, I digress. I know. I know. At the end. Okay. Um, let's see. We have a silver tone with kind of beigey champagne champagne colored beads let's put that on a let's try her on paper clip type chain little fancy link in between a b finish looking for its um oh that's cute little ball bead in there i'm looking for its clasp And I'm not seeing it. So, oh, here it is. And that is also loft. Silver tone champagne colored beads. And we'll do this for $8. Loft silver tone with champagne beads. Has one of these guys on each side. Some AB finish. Oh, and one there in the middle. These are really pretty. It's almost like a moonstone look. Really nice. Let me give you a measurement. Definitely can be doubled, or you can wear it long, whatever you like. Whatever your heart desires. And that has a 17 inch drop loft silver tone and champagne bead. We can call it another watch. 
That is a guest watch. A lot of these watches are so nice. I really think they just need batteries. But, like I said, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll get into that. But right now, I just have so much other stuff to do and sell. Um, another beautiful earring. Um, another... Uh, and two earrings. This looks like earrings that are stuck together. Or one earring. Okay. There's an earring. We have some pearls. These little teardrop shaped pearls with a toggle clasp. Um, let's put it on. Cute. Super cute. Pretty. In between it has the little tiny clear bicones. Probably plastic. The pearls are plastic. I'm guessing the little bicones are as well. But it feels pretty nice. It has a little toggle clasp. Let's do this for $3. It's super cute. Clean. Beautiful condition. I don't see a brand. We'll do $3 on the teardrop pearl necklace choker length ish probably hit right about collarbone it's a seven inch drop all right we have some um clearance i don't know let's open this up um this smells weird. Oh, maybe it's just the plastic. Yeah, it smells like plastic. These are little plastic, kind of flexible. It has a smell of plastic. I think I should take this out of the running. They're just flexible, kind of bangle bracelets from Walmart. If anybody wants them for a teenager or something, they're not bad. They're just, you know, you can have them for a dollar if anybody's interested. Otherwise, um, I'll put them in craft. Somebody might be able to make something out of these napkin rings or something. I don't know. The smell is dissipating, but when I first opened it, I could smell like the plastic. They're made out of plastic. It looked like it was originally like a stocking stuffer because in packages in the shape of a Christmas ornament. I'm going to put those in crafting. Anybody wants them, let me know. All right. Uh, we have a seed bead, either choker or um, anklet. And we'll do $2 on that. I don't know what it is, if it's an anklet or a bracelet. And I don't want to open it in case somebody wants to use I'm going to open it because you know what? I have these bags. Let me just get a scissor. Yeah, it's new on cards. So if anybody's interested in it, I will just put it into another cellophane bag. Um, it looks... It has a nice little spring ring closure. I know I'm out of focus. I mean, I'm out of the um, the field here. Sorry, guys. Um, let me just put this on and measure it. I want to put it on, you know, hook it on here. There we go. I guess it's a bracelet. Let me just put it on the sizer. <clears throat> we'll just make it two dollars. Pretty. Oh, it's big. It's it's an anklet. It's an anklet, and you know what? I'm gonna put it in crafting because the um, the clasp just came undone. So I'll put this into crafting. All right. Crafts. And, you know, if you ever, uh, I'm going to be selling craft lots also. I'll bring those uh, to the forefront. Eventually we'll do a um, a um, video on crafting bottles and jewelry jars. We have a little breast cancer awareness charm bracelet by Kato. And we'll do this for $2. 
<clears throat> hope looks like little <clears throat> peach and pink enamel little charms the breast cancer awareness little ribbons the angel hope on a heart and it's Cato brand silver tone has this nice big um, lobster closure and we'll do that for uh, two dollars okay <clears throat> excuse me next up we have a little um, fashion jewelry necklace that says wisdom and has three little rhinestones in it this is um, a little two from letter in there. That's kind of cute. Aw, look. Comes with a little thing. This is, again, a really good stocking stuffer for a young girl um, or preteen or tweens. I think these are good for stuff like that. $2 for this, for the wisdom necklace. Okay, another watch. into the watch bin it goes i have a big watch collection these <clears throat> look tarnished i don't think they're sterling um i'll try to clean them up in fact let me see if they come clean i have my cleaner right here <clears throat> excuse me guys Oof. i mean talking a lot does not sit well with me my throat gets a little dry um they're coming up a little bit but i think i'm gonna chuck them because i think they're just not coming up shiny enough i will test just to make sure they're not sterling i seriously doubt that this fashion jewelry looking metal would be sterling but the way it's tarnished to me i'll just test it and make sure all right next we have a little bracelet from Claire's it's, it's handcuffs and it is from Claire's um, the faux leather braid looks really good clean and we'll do two dollars on the handcuff bracelet from Claire's cute it comes down at about six and three quarter inch for the handcuffs. All right. We have a broken clamper. Uh, the safety chain is broken. And I will probably trash this. I don't think I'm even going to put this in crafting because it has a lot of wear. And it's broken, so I don't think anybody could really repurpose this unless they really went through quite a bit of work in painting it and whatnot. So I will put that in the garbage. All right, next, another earring, little turtle. I'm kind of looking forward to getting to these earrings. So I see a lot of cute ones. Oh, we have a stone here. So if something's missing a stone, there it is. Another watch, I like this band. What's that say? Can't tell. Kim Rogers. Really nice band. Again, I will put this into the watch. And then when someone in, wants some watches for crafting and the people who use them and repurpose them, I will make a lot for them. So if anybody's interested, just let me know. Little cluster earring. Put that with the earrings. Marie, here's that other really nice silver one that goes with this one. Excited for that. Here's another watch. Hill figure has the little hill figure flag there. Nice. I like the bands on this too. I like bracelet bands on watches. It's nice. Probably watches probably needs need batteries if anybody's interested in it, i will sell them for a couple of dollars if you want if you you know want to put your own battery in it and take your chances that's why i'll only you know i'll sell them for like two bucks just in case because I, I can't guarantee that it's going to work 
More earrings. This one looks nice. Uh, we have a big statement. Missing some stones. Um, I don't even see a brand. It's supposed to be branded, but either way, it is missing stones, and it looks like it's missing one of its <clears throat> pieces, or it's just not attached. So into crafting it goes, because these are good components, and it can be repurposed. All right, so <clears throat> crafting. More earring, another earring. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have a chain. It is gold toned. It's very dark. It's Claire's. I'm going to throw this away. It's really dirty. Tarnished, which I don't think anybody really can do much with that. Sometimes these little um, lobster clasps and jump rings can be repurposed. But I don't want to put this in a crafting jar. It takes up a lot of weight and room. Um, and for, you know, you can't really use the main part of it. So I will trash that. All right, next up. We have this beaded set by my style. Looks like some of the beads have come off. I'm going to put this into crafting. The beads are very pretty color. Colored, so I will put that into crafting. Pull some more in here. An earring. Oh, I know we saw the other one of that. Another watch band. Ooh, look at this pretty red band. It's in so clean. It's like perfect condition. I don't think anybody used it. Genuine Italian leather. <laughs> wow. It's from an Italian cow. <laughs> Let me see here. What's the brand? Gossip? Gossip. Ever heard of that? Don't know it. But wow, that is a pretty, pretty watch. And look at that band. Red crocodile. Red croc. Oh, it does look like it was used because it looks like right here. I see a little bit of lines, but... Barely, barely. It looks like it, somebody used it in that one hole. You can see it's a little bigger than the others, but look how clean that is. This makes me want to learn how to fix watches. Sorry, I don't mean to keep harping on watches. You know, and they're weighty, they're heavy, so that takes up, you buy in, you think you're buying 12 pounds or 8 pounds, and like 6 of it is watches that I don't really use. Um, anyway, here's another piece. It looks like, um, oh, that's cute. It doesn't look like anything's missing, right? I don't see a brand. It's, let me just look and see if I see a brand. Mm hmm. And this was supposed to be all... Oh, it is Chico's. Duh. It's right there. Right on the back. Chico's. Brass tone. Some kind of like glass coating there. Laminate type stuff. I don't know. But it's a brass tone with like a rust colored accent color. Anybody's interested, we'll do that for $4. There is some wear on it, as you can see, but still definitely usable. Four bucks. All right. A little turtle necklace, and we have turtle earrings. So that looks like it's a match, and both of the earrings um, came out. So we'll do the... Um, I know we didn't do the earrings yet, but I saw two. Here's both of the turtles and the necklace, and we'll do that for four dollars. Okay, we'll sell it as a set. The turtle necklace and earrings. Again, I don't see a brand. Let me bring it in a little closer. Oh, there is a brand. Sorry. Um, I can't see what it says. Sorry. 
Let me see if it's on the earrings. There's definitely a brand in it. You can see it straight down the middle of the turtle in the center. I just cannot see what it says, even with the loop. Maybe I'll be able to see it on the earring. Base, best, B-E-S-T. B-E-S-T, I believe this is a set because it's kind of exactly the same shape. All right, so best brand, black cord, very clean. All right, a turtle, necklace, and earring set. Another earring, another earring. I'm definitely seeing a lot of the pairs. There's another pair. Again, some will be in the two for five club. Some will be uh, priced higher than, you know, five and up. Um, but we'll do that at the end. We have a set here from uh, Passion. Passion brand. Earring and necklace gold tone. And it has a silver tone zebra. <laughs> That's cute. Um, looped in it. So I will have to separate this. Let's just see. Let me open this up. Oh, it already is. Oh, no, it's not. Here we go. Open this guy up. Ball chain. All right, let's look at this first. Passion brand, and it has a little hang tag here on the necklace as well. Just. Hmm. It's weird because the tag says Passion LJTM. Don't know. It says Passion here. Designed in New York, um, and the little hang tag says LJTM. It's a rope chain. It's very pretty. Very pretty. It looks like another brand, kind of like maybe it's trying to look like, you know, that other brand, kind of, but I don't know. Maybe not. Let's do four dollars. There's the necklace. There's the matching earrings. Four dollars on. Let's just call it the gold tone passion set. Gold tone passion set. It looks long. Usually these will say how many inches. I don't see it, and I'm not gonna take it off. I don't want to undo it because it's new on cord in case somebody wants it for a gift. I mean, probably not, but in case somebody does, I don't want to undo it. It's, it's 18 right there, and there's, you know, two more wraps. So it's probably going to be, I'm guessing, about a 24-inch, and it has an extension. It's really nice. All right. Passion Gold Tone Set. We have a little zebra. This is so cute. I love little animals. It's a little enamel zebra. He is cute. Let me see if I see a brand in him. I know there's a tag hanging, but I just want to check. Um, if you like zebras or know anybody who likes zebras, um, this would be for you. This is called Cool Jewels is the name of the brand. It's on a little um, ball bead silver tone chain. Chain is a little dingy, but um, you can just put it on another silver tone chain. If you want a silver tone chain, I have stainless steel chains, chains 
if you want me to change it for you I charge two dollars and I will put a brand new stainless steel chain on it for you we're gonna go two bucks for this guy he's super cute little zebra two bucks if you want me to change the chain for you it'll be four dollars and I'll put a nice chain on that for you all right just let me know two bucks as is or four with a stainless steel chain we have pearls they feel probably plastic but like the heavier kind of hard plastic I don't know my plastics uh, let me see what the brand is it's Claire's um, and this the extension looks kind of dark I don't know if it's supposed to be that way but anybody's interested in the pearl the pearls are in beautiful condition nice and tightly strong and I'm just seeing something I don't know it's weird but this one pearl is a different shape than the others what does that mean one pearl is a different shape it like has almost it's almost shaped like a wheel see that That's weird. This one pearl. It's not round like the others. At any rate, it's very pretty. It's clean and there's a little darkening on the chain, but anybody's interested, we'll do three dollars. It's a nice shape. $3 on the Claire's Pearls. 8 inch drop plus your 3 inches there. Alright. So right, alright, alright. Let's do a little more. I'm not going to do it all today because we still have to go through the earrings, you guys. Another watch. Um, let's see. Let's see. Another. Uh, this is a Walmart earring card. There is one earring not on it. Oh, there's several not on it. But we will, um, oh, is there no backs on these? They're falling out. These are cute, you know, if you have, you know, more than one hole or you like to li put little ones in. Um, let me just put the backs on here so they don't go all over the place. Or I'm just going to put it on the side. I'll come to that later. I don't want to waste time with that. I know you guys want to see jewelry. All right, we have this next up. It is a, I don't know, Jules, Julia B, Julia B. It looks like teenager jewelry. Um, I will put this in crafting. I'm not sure what it is or how that goes. I guess it's like a choker and then this part hangs. I'm not sure. But we'll put it in crafting because it has cute little components. Okay. More earrings. Let's do more. Let's do more. We, ooh. Ooh. Big chunky toggle heart necklace by. Let me see. Tracy Lynn. Um, let me put it on. Let's try it on. It is the front um, toggle type closure, I suppose. Let me just get that in there. There we go. Key to the heart. Key. It's cute. I think it can be washed up. It looks like it could use a cleaning. Really not bad at all. Heavy. 
Very heavy. Tracy Lynn. We'll do four dollars for the Tracy Lynn gold gold tone heart toggle closure. Cute. Let's get a measurement on that. All right, we got an eight inch drop. An eight inch drop on that. That's cute. All right, you guys, let's do a few earrings and then I'm going to wrap it up and we will do a part two on this, you know, because we're running at, we're at 47 minutes currently. And if it goes too long, it just takes forever to upload it onto YouTube. Let's do some of our earrings. We probably won't get to all of them, but we have these beautiful silver tone hoops, super clean in mint, brand new condition. Let me get a brand on these for you. Mm -hmm. I would think Monet. Yes, Monet. It's right on the inside of the hoop. So we will do $5 on the silver tone Monet. Really nice. They're like in brand new shape. And they're Monet and they're clip-ons. They're about an inch. All right, five bucks on the Monet Silver Tone. Five dollars. Next up, we have some gold tone knotted earrings. They are the clip and the screw back. All right, these are Napier little gold tone knots. And we will do these for $4. They do need to be cleaned up, but I will clean them. They're in good good working order. The clips work and they're Napier. So $4 and I will clean them up. Gold tone. And they look vintage to me for sure. All right. The gold tone Napier is $4. I will clean them up. Let's do these pretties. These are very pretty. Gold tone with Pearls, so pretty. Let me see what brand these are. Same thing, they have that, um, they have the clip, um, the clip on and the, um, the screw back so that you can make it exactly as you like them, um, as tight as you want them or loose. You can fine tune them, so to speak. Napier, beautiful, spotless condition. Five dollars on the Napier gold tone with pearl or faux pearl. All right, five on these guys. Super clean, perfect condition, approximately an inch. Just give me the timestamp and the quoted price. Worthington clip on little rhinestones, gold tone. The backs look a little. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is that comfortable? This little, they work. We'll do $2 on the Worthington half hoop curve gold tone, $2. Let's do a couple of more before we close it out for now for this video. This one's going to be called part one. It's going to be called Goodwill branded jewelry part one. So give me that in your title and then just give me a timestamp, a brief description and the price that I quoted. Here's another twisted gold tone knot, clip on, may or may not be vintage. I don't think so, judging by the cleanliness of them. Um, I don't think they're vintage, but they're very nice. They're about an inch. Let me just look real quick. This is supposed to be a branded lot. Let me see if there's a name on them. They are Ir Irvin Pearl. Irwin, I'm sorry. Irwin Pearl. Irwin Pearl. And we'll do $4 on the Irwin Pearl Gold Tone Knots. 
Uh, what else do we have that I can quickly grab? I love these. These were cute. Where's the other one? This is the cream, the gold and cream enamel. I thought I saw both of them on this. Hmm, I guess not. I didn't see this, the other one. So I'll look when we do part two. I will look for these. But I think these are Napier also. Yeah, these are Napier. Gold tone and cream enamel. I hope I find the other one. Those will be four or five bucks, something like that. Um, let's do these guys. Gold tone. There's a brand in there. AK. So we have Anne Klein. Oops. We'll do these. We'll put these in the um, two for five club. So they're three dollars. Anne Klein gold tone. Just call them the swirl clip ons. And these are three dollars or two for five. All right. Same thing here. The Erica Silver Tone Black Clip-On, $3 or two for five. And this goes for any of my videos. If you see any earrings in the two for five club, just let me know. It doesn't have to be, both of them don't have to be out of this video. Um, all right, I'm going to get these. Well, one more pair. Let's do the Chico's. We have the blue Chico's hoops, and these will be $5. These are not in the club. Um, big blue plastic and silver tone hoops. $5. Brand new Chico. Two inch. I'm going to wrap it up there, you guys. These other earrings that we didn't go over yet. Um, well, let's throw these into Birch Hill. Same thing. We'll do $3 or two for five. Okay. The rest of these, I'm going to look for their partners. And the other ones that we didn't go through, we will um, go 